Given a linked list, remove the nth node from the end of the linked list and return its head. How would you do this? This is today's video. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going through Lidl problem 19, a very classic interview question regarding linked list. Remove nth node from the end of the list. Let's take a look at the problem description first. Given a linked list, remove the nth node from the end of the list and return its head. For example, we're given this linked list, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the n equals to 2. That means we remove the last second node from the, from the end of the list, removing the second node from the end of the list. The linked list then becomes 1, 2, 3, 5. The second last node is the node with the value 4. That node is gone. So we return the new hat. Node given n will always be valid. The follow-up is, could you do this in one pass? The reason it's asking this follow-up, that is because very straightforward or intuitive solution, which is we can do it in two paths. First pass will just traverse from the very beginning towards the end. And then we know the length of this linked list. We know how many nodes are there in this simply linked list, right? And then at the second pass, we'll just go towards the, the last, towards the nth node from the end of the list. And then we'll just cut it off. Remember the technique we just discussed in the in the video about delete a node in the singly linked list. In that one, we are only given access to the node that needs to be deleted. Remember we talked about, usually the technique is that we'll assign the, the node that needs to be deleted, its previous node's next pointer towards the node that needs to be, to be deleted, its successor. That way, the node that needs to be deleted is gone because that's it's not linked to its predecessor anymore so it's gone we can use that technique but basically back to the point what i was describing is the brute force of very intuitive solution is two paths why is two paths because first pass we traverse from the start until the end of the list that's one pass we know the total length and the second path will go through until total length minus n Right, then we'll just stop there and then we'll change the pointer. That's two paths. That's two paths. Of course, that's an acceptable solution. It's going to be accepted by the OJ. But if you get asked during an interview as a follow up, how the interviewer is asking you, how can you do this in one pass? Well, we have gone through the problem description already. One common technique for these. Remember that we discussed in array problems, in problems that are, that are associated with arrays, we discussed the two pointer solution, right? We have a left pointer or right pointer. Another, another common variation of two pointer technique is that we can use a fast and slow pointer. That this kind of technique applies pretty often or applies really well for linked list problems. So in this problem, specifically for this follow up, it's asking us to do this in one pass. The technique that we're going to apply is the two pointer technique and we're going to use a slow and fast pointer. Let's take a look. So we'll still use this example, one, two, three, four, five, and n equals to two. Let's see. We're asked by this problem, one, two, three, four, five. Five is the tail node. That's it. That's the last node. And the question is asking us to delete the second node, n equals to two. Delete the second node from the end of the list. In this case, it's four. So the end result is going to be one, two, three, five, as we just saw in the problem description, one, two, three, five, right? Then how can we use the two pointer technique to solve this problem? Um, just a quick thing, which is a pretty standard way is or another very common or classic trick is to use a dummy node, which comes in super handy. So in this case, we'll initialize a dummy node, say any random value, minus one, for example, and then with this dummy, dummy node, we'll have two pointers. One will call it slow pointer, one will call it fast pointer. Both of them will start from dummy node. And then fast node, as the name indicates, will move fast node first. Fast node, fast node starts from dummy node, it moves one step. Now it's pointing at the node with value one. Do we need to move fast node or slow node at this point? We need to move fast node. Why? Because we want to keep the distance between slow and fast node. The distance between these two nodes add a distance of n. n equals to this. 
n is the number that we would like to see to be deleted, the node to be deleted from the end of the linked list. So we'll keep moving fast because right now, slow and fast, the distance between them is only one. And the node, the n in this question is second, is two. So we still will keep moving it. Right now, this the distance between these two nodes, slow and fast, is two, which matches the n in this question, right? And then at this point, we'll keep moving these two pointers. We'll keep moving both pointers. Previously, we only moved fast pointer, right? We keep moving fast pointer until the distance between the slow and fast pointer equals to n. At this point, we'll keep moving both pointers. Why? Let's take a look. You'll see that in just a second. Let's see. We move both pointers, right? So slow was at dummy at this position, right? Now slow moves towards the right, fast also moves towards right. So in this way, the distance between slow and fast, it keeps at two. Okay, we'll keep moving. Slow and fast, they both move at the same pace, at the same pace, so the distance is still two. We will keep moving once more. Then at this point, we're going to stop. So the breakout condition is fast.next is now. While fast.next is not now, we'll just keep moving. Why do we stop at this position? What can we do at this position? Now let's go back to the question. The question is asking us, given a linked list, remove the nth node from the end of the list and return its head. The nth node from the end of the list. So right now, the end of the list, fast reaches the end of the list. And this is the second node from the end of the list, which we need to delete. Remember the tactic we discussed in the video, delete node in the linked list? We'll just cut off this link and assign this link point to the to be deleted node's successor. Then we're done. That's what we're going to do, right? Then this one is gone. The node with value 4 is gone because it's not part of this linked list anymore. The link, the its only link to its predecessor is cut off, it's gone. And we assign the next pointer from its predecessor to this guy's successor, right? So this one is pointing to this. Then we're done. As beautiful as that, that's it. And then we'll just return this dummy dot next, which is this hat. That's another use of keeping this dummy though. We'll just, because the problem is asking us, usually for linked list problems, is asking us to return the hat of a modified linked list. So we'll just return dummy dot next, which is the new hat. That's it. That's the algorithm. Very simple and straightforward. Now let's put that into the time complexity for that is just O n. We just go through this problem. We just go through this entire linked list. Whenever fast dot next reaches now, we just do the operation. Then we just break out. That's it. Space complexity is O one. We don't need any extra memory. All right. Now let's put the code into. Let's put the algorithm into actual code. Let's see how we can do that. So first, we'll initialize a dummy dummy node list node called dummy and new list node minus one. So we will have another two and dummy node. Dummy node next is hat. That's how we associate the dummy node with the given linked list. And then we'll have a slow node which will start from dummy and a fast node will also start from dummy. And then what we'll do is remember the breakout condition is what? As long as fast.next is not equal to now, we just keep moving. We just keep moving. First, we'll move only fast while fast fast.next not equals to now. First, we only move fast, right? Fast. This is the line we just keep assigning fast on next towards fast so that we keep moving. Remember in the very initial steps, remember in the very this is the very initial state, we'll keep moving fast, moving fast until the distance between slow and fast is two, right? That's what we did. And then how do we do that? What we'll do is that we will have we will check if n is smaller than or greater to zero. At this point, what we will do is 
will assign slow.next to slow only at this point. So we'll keep we'll keep decrementing n. We'll always keep decrementing n. But only when n is smaller than or equal to zero will start moving slow. That is at this point. When n is smaller than or equal to zero, slow, the distance between slow and fast starts starts to begin at equal to n. So at that point we'll start moving slow. We'll start moving both of them, right? Both of them. Both of them. Until at this point, fast.next reaches now. Then we we'll just break out of this of this while loop, right? So at this point, what do we need to do? What we need to do is to assign slows next. Remember, at this point, this link is still there. So we that's that's the whole reason that we can reach this node. So slow dot next dot next. We'll assign this one to slows next. That's what we did. We'll assign this one. We get this node first and assign this node towards the next the next pointer of this node. That's what we will do here. Okay. And we, actually we don't need to check whether snow.next is is now or not because the because there's a node here. <laughs> there given n will always be valid. Okay, let's just do, do that. Snow.next will assign snow.next dot next here. In the end what we'll return is just dummy.next. That's it. That's the entire algorithm that we put into the actual code. Let's hit submit and see. All right, accept it, 100%. It's just a one pass, but we use the technique of two pointers. This way, things will become a lot clearer and easier, and we'll do it only in one pass. That's a very common technique when it comes to linked list. We use two pointers. Previously, we discussed to use a left and right pointer, but here we could use a slow and fast pointer, which is super common and popular in linked list questions. I hope this video helps you understand this problem and the solution to this problem. How can you do it in one pass? Um, if you like this video, just do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, and tap the little bell notification so that each time when I publish a new video, you're not going to miss out on anything. Really appreciate it. See you guys in the next one.